everyone. I would like to very quickly talk about silent languages, and what that means is there are certain aspects where the human being, through his individual consciousness, communicates to his world that the reception is collect as a collective con understood through a sense of collectivity. What that means, you understand it as your world. That means something happens. You observe death. There are no words, but you absorb, and you continue in this world carrying the depth of experiences, hidden and unhidden. You walk with this. Realm, as if you knew it before you were born. An unborn man could not manifest into fear. You were the chosen one, for you are chosen and you are dear. You, in your mind, you are absolute. You can see bodies. You can see the reliance of stories. Fade in an instant. You are chosen by your dispatch. Shaken by your instruments, you are the clay maker's wild hand. Every man is torn. You are not seeing the worlds you hold. For within man, man can experience states of consciousness where he is, in an instant, an individual talking to a recording. Simultaneously, a plane of manifestation of collective being, where there is no name, but infinite inspiration comes from the aspect within your core that suggested you were the intelligence that came from emptiness. That even your atoms could not lie when they said they do not know. There is a beauty here. Beyond your misconception, beyond your misunderstanding, beyond insecurity and doubt, there are doors. You will go through these, and you will feel your experiential, existential awareness activate. As it does, you will become the suggestion of your clearest vision. You will suddenly see that you are inspired by no longer physical action. Your energy is no longer based here, for it is based on a whole. Your moment is your newfound source. And so your trust in your moments means you're cultivating your consciousness into your here. So what that means is before you bring an orientation of space and time, orient yourself to an existential presence that you are here, you are alive, you are formed, and you are observantly formless. For perhaps one man may be speaking. To other men, but within this voice, celestial generals are remembering their way. For a being communicates to a being, not in the trust of your external projection. I do not look into your eyes to see a self, but to see the trust in the selfless. Take yourself to states of consciousness where you will be fascinated by your awareness. You will be fascinated by your clarity. You will have taken steps before. You have needed to. Desire has, to some degree, hindered the progression of man, but the desire to move beyond desire has had a greater achievement. It has been a technological advancement where it has silenced the hindrance of an elusive self. It has brought forth the clarity of the objective world, but it must trust in its absolute that the absolute is not a segment. Your moment is your truth. You see, you can in an instant have whirlwinds of abstraction found in your consideration. You could be sitting down, and your visualizations are no longer being、uh, moved by you, but they're naturally moving. You see, you can bring up a shape in your subtler planes of consideration, in your sense of visualization, based on the orientation of it, of the world that it's being projected from. And as you are aware of it, you see that you can move shapes in your subtler field, and they will、uh, listen to you because they are your 
creation into your subtler phenomena of consideration. It is a work within your world, but it is the world within which is actually working. Sincere and profound trust the image in the message it brings for all intermediaries pointed to the heart of the heartless. You see, on some level you wonder how humanity will receive communication and you see he will judge, he will judge, he will judge others, he will judge himself, he will judge others, he will judge himself. And throughout this whole time you wonder, when did I see something else? Expand your range of experience, expand your range of senses, of consciousness. Study your senses. If you see, look at how clearly you're seeing. If you hear, look at how clearly you're hearing. See how much you can trust your moment and improvise, not in the sense that improvisation is something you had to do. It was something that was being done. The martial artist used the forces of this earth. His fist was like an earthquake, shaking the grounds of men who could not stand. Victory was surpassed by every hand. You see, there is an orientation of consideration where the players in the game survive as much as they need to. What needs will crumble when an experience comes when your world is shaking you. Not many people get communications where their world communicates to the individual. Usually it's the individual communicating the world and that's why the, the experience is in a sense in the range of the modality of uh, still being assumed that it's from you. When self becomes other and other becomes self, you have found a bridge beyond ideology. And so perhaps those men who began creating the Tower of Babel wanted to reach the heavens where the greatest warriors had come down from. However, when he looked at another man when a human being looked at another human being no longer were doors needed the space had become complete as it always was you are trusting the absolute experience of your plane of existence that you are. And so the pilots of consciousness know their path before they can even bring it into manifestation. The intentions are vast. We are seeing this physical projection of us is as if it is, it is just an aspect of the vehicle. The vehicle is being driven by many senses of intelligence simultaneously present in the sense that you thought you were only controlling a physical body. No, you're actually creating the awareness to your world which a body is present in. And so you can be the shift in your world and you can see a manifestation can change in how much you can trust the experiencer rather than trying to find validity through the objects of experience. What that means is truth is for the dissolution, dissolution of you to be the solution. Break all imagery. And once you are about to touch the sky, see that you have broken yourself. A freedom shall bloom. For through beauty, the seeds 
of existence were planted here. Much blessings and namaste.